Sadie. And I'm Pete. Welcome, Welcome to, to the United, United Kingdom. Kingdom. We're flight centre consultants and UK experts. And today we're in London. The first question people ask us is when is the best time to book your flights? If you're looking to travel in summer, then September is your best time. Otherwise, check out the Flight Centre Travel Expo for great deals. You'll most likely arrive into Heathrow. Jump on the Heathrow Express. It'll take you to central London in just 15 minutes. Once you're in London, the Tube is super easy and really is the local way to get around. Grab an Oyster card, which gives you access to all public transport and recharge as you need. If it's your first time in the city, I recommend staying in King's Cross or here in Kensington. Both areas are close to theatres, art galleries, dining for all budgets, nightlife, and there's plenty of transport close by. I love staying here at the Milestone Hotel. After a busy day seeing the sights, I like to retire to my room, relax, and get a good night's sleep. There's no shortage of things to do in London. My tip is the original London sightseeing bus tour, a great activity which gives you access to three bus routes across the city and a free river cruise from Westminster to the Tower of London. If you wanted to visit a few London hotspots, then my tip is the London Pass, which gives you access to over 80 attractions and a free Oyster card with three days worth of travel. Want to tick off some of the iconic sites like the Westminster Abbey, Churchill War Rooms or the Houses of Parliament? The good news is they're all really close together. Take the tube to St James's Park and they're all within walking distance. The Coca-Cola London Eye is an icon and a great way to see some of the city's most famous landmarks. There's a lot of bridges in London. The most iconic one is this one, Tower Bridge. The Shard offers one of the best views across all of London. You can see landmarks such as Tower Bridge, the London Eye, St Paul's Cathedral and Canary Wharf. Madame Tussauds is a popular attraction known for its lifelike celebrity figures. Hello my puppets, welcome to Mrs Lovett's Pie Shop, Fleet Street, London. For a spooky take on the local history, check out the London Dungeon. For a magical day out the whole family will enjoy, you must experience the Warner Brothers Studio to London, the making of Harry Potter. A full day ticket includes return transfers from central London and is the only fully guided tour of the making of Harry Potter. If you're a theatre buff and want to see the latest show, West End is the place to be. If you're travelling in peak season, I recommend booking your tours and tickets in advance. However, if you want to try your luck, head to Leicester Square on the day of the show. You may be able to snap up a half price ticket. London has some of the world's most impressive bars and speakeasies. Like Discount Suit Company in Spitalfields. The Sun Tavern, an Irish whisky specialist in East London. The Vault, a hidden cocktail den on Greek Street. Swift in Soho, famous for its flawless cocktails. And the Milestone Hotel, renowned for its award-winning afternoon tea. There are so many restaurants to choose from, like the famous Curry Bazaar here on Brick Lane. Or for a classic British meal, head to a traditional English pub. My pick is the Cat's Back, where the ingredients are sourced locally and they always deliver. Travelling on a budget, London has plenty of great things to do that won't cost you a penny. For a little bit of culture, be amazed by some incredible arts here at London's famous Tate Modern, where admission is free of charge. I love East London's incredible street art. London is also home to over 170 museums, such as the Museum of London, and most of these are free. Aside from museums and galleries, there are heaps of cool markets to check out too, like here, the Columbia Road Flower Market. And you can enjoy famous spots such as Kensington Gardens, Hyde Park and watch the changing of the guards. Whatever your style, whatever holiday you're after, London has it all. So for more info and tips, talk to your flight centre travel expert in store.